What is better, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles or lithium ion battery vehicles? I've come to the conclusion that it depends on the application. So lithium ion batteries, I see them as winners on passenger vehicles all the way up to the Tesla Semi, so long that it's not going above 35 tons of capacity and over 400 kilometers per day. When you're going above that, then you might want to look at a hydrogen fuel truck, fuel cell truck. So that also means such things as container ships, planes, trains. Hydrogen might be a, a winner there. So why is this? Well, hydrogen is 236 times more energy dense than the current lithium ion batteries. So all that comes out of the back is very, very clean air and water. So even if Elon makes his batteries twice as good, he's still probably 100 times behind the energy density of the hydrogen fuel cell. And I know he's looking into silicon anodes, but that's a long way off. So let's read something from Elon Musk in 2015, where he said hydrogen was stupid. So I'd love to say Elon, but what about mining the graphite and the nickel out of the ground, trucking it to the process plant, and then trucking it to your battery factory? And that's not to be rude, it's just to sort of see what it would say. Hydrogen, you can actually fill up your car a lot faster, or your truck, or your aeroplane, compared to charging a battery cell. We're going the cons of hydrogen, obviously less infrastructure around, um, but obviously the economies of scale are going to change once more people go on hydrogen, just like lithium-ion batteries. It's all going to come down, and both will be winners in their certain applications. Lithium, pros, you can charge it from home, obviously it's going to take overnight, and you'll probably have to use that electricity from the grid anyway, but you could have some solar panels giving you a bit of range. Um, then the cons, lithium's quite heavy. Oh, sorry, pro for lithium, uh, just the battery to the engine, low maintenance. So what else? Cons, you need to get the nickel and graphite out of the ground, as I said, process it. A lot of stuff to be done there. Okay, so what does this mean for investors after knowing this knowledge? So personally, you'd want to think twice about investing in a company that's making hydrogen fuel cell passenger vehicles. Keywords, think twice. Um, another thing you might want to look out for hydrogen, green producers of hydrogen as they could be a go in the future. I'm currently looking at one that's going to IPO next year. Western Australia, green hydrogen developer, Infinite Blue Energy is seeking an early investors ahead of a listing on the Australian Stock Exchange where it hopes to become the country's first listed green hydrogen producer with the plans for 348 million commercial scale hydro plant. Infinite Blue Energy has plans to develop a number of large scale green hydrogen fillies across both Western Australia and New South Wales and it said in May that it was working on plans for a massive 1000 megawatt wind and solar facility in New South Wales that could supply green hydrogen to major industrial manufacturers within the next seven years. See, major industrial manufacturers, not passenger cars, but people are going to use a lot of energy and need it fast. So, its latest announcement, Infinite Blue Energy, has revealed that it's aiming to raise pre IPO investment of $2 million, with the goal of listing the company on the ASX in quarter one of 2021. So, I'll be looking out for that and I'll update you on what I know. So thanks for tuning in guys, remember to smash that thumbs up button down below and comment below what you think and if I said anything stupid or wrong, comment below and let me know. When you learn, I learn. When I learn, you learn. See you next time.